hey Martin, thanks a lot for showing up today. Appreciate you coming by. So you have a, a small property that you're opening up, huh? Absolutely. Okay, well I'm glad you came by. You know, Sorcom has a new product called Complete Concierge, property management system interface for Micro Spidelio, New Hotel. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can see our brochure over there. We work with Opera, Protel, a lot of different property management systems that we've done integration with for the larger properties. Now, you're a small property. You have, what, 30 rooms? Yeah, about that. Yeah, so with, you know, with 30 rooms, you know, investing in a property management system gets a little costly. And you don't necessarily have a restaurant or a lot of point of sales devices, right? No. Yeah, so uh, you've got a complex problem. You have to. Uh, Remove your old Mitel system. It's what, 15 years old now? At least. Yeah, so it's hard to get service on it, parts wearing out, and all that good stuff. So, but you need a new phone system, but the phone system isn't making as much money for you as it used to be, is it? Right, people are not using the long distance like they used to. Right, and they, and cell they have cell phones, and so really those, those room phones are used to order towels and wake up calls and things of that nature. Right. But you still have to have it. Yep. I still have to have the hotel. So what I want to show you here today, let me, I set up a little demo for you. Let me explain what I have. Uh, I have a, a, an Astro phone here with a, a cordless phone that's tethered to the main phone. You ever have to walk away from the front desk? Absolutely. <laughs> right? So uh, this way you can have a, a phone that will take care of that. My computer uh, has a, a small uh, client on it called Complete Concierge. We connected with an XR1000 PBX and a small data switch just to show the demo piece here. We have a couple of analog telephones. Now, just to say, the, the beauty of our product with Sorcom Complete PBX is that you don't need to have uh, proprietary phones or things of that nature. I'm using Astro with this wireless phone. Uh, Polycom also has an excellent solution as well with their wireless phone. You also have Yalink. You have, there's different products you can use. Uh, as far as the analog phones, generally we're going to reuse the phones that, that are in your hotel. Okay. Okay. So we can reuse all your wiring, we can reuse the analog telephones, that won't be a problem. So what I want to show right now, and uh, I also have a soft phone set up here, but I want to go through some of the features that we can do for your property that will make you more efficient and at a very cost effective price. Okay? Yeah. All right. I appreciate you coming in today. You're going to be part of my demo, right? All right. All right. Great. So let's start out with a, um, a, a piece here that I wanted to show you up on the screen. This shows our uh, operator panel at the front desk. Now I know you, know, you get a lot of uh, the kids for vacationers and things of that nature and one of the things we discuss is that sometimes you, know, you get these kids and they're, they're causing havoc and they're calling other rooms and, and causing a problem. But you really don't know which room it is that's making the call. Right. right. So let's pick up this handset over here and let's go ahead and dial 302. Your extension 301. We're going to call 302, which is this other room phone over here. And I pick up, and as you can see, we can see exactly who's calling who. If you look up on the screen, you can see that 301 made an outgoing call. And 301 is the recipient of the call. It's incoming here. Right. So I can tell right away who's calling who. All right? Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so that, that's one aspect of it. Also, if anyone is dialing, so if you want to pick up that handset and just dial the front desk and hit that button. So, and now it's ringing the front desk console that's here, and I can see who's calling in, and when I pick up, I'll say, oh, yes, how are you? Can I help you, Mr. Platchin? Because right now it says vacant on my phone, I'm going to check you in in a second, and then I'm going to put the name against that room. Okay. So I'll know who's coming. But right now it says vacant because there's nobody checked into your room. So we can see that. So, so how does that work? Let's look at the, um, at the interface. And when we log into a room, and I can go 301, and I'm going to log in. What's going to happen is, is that it's going to say, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to check somebody in? There's a lot of customizations that we can do as well. The, the software will do the room status, so I know if it's clean, dirty, uh, vacant, occupied, maybe it's not, uh, it can't be uh, reserved because it, um, it, the shower is broken, things of that nature. Right. Right? In this scenario, it's telling me, well, there's no room occupation found. You want to check in the client? Well, sure. All right, so let me check in room 301. So now let me go ahead and, and it's uh, Martin 
And is P-L-A-D-G-E-N-A-N? Right. Okay, great. So I'm going to hit save. So basically now what I've done is that I've checked you into that room and, and you're all set up there. I'm going to have some, some new buttons that are going to appear on that screen. But right now, if you were to pick up your telephone, and let's go ahead and dial 105, just so I can show it on the screen. So now it says 301 Martin Plagman. Before no. it said vacant. Right. Now you're checked in, so I can pick up. And I say, yes, Mr. Plagman, how can I help you, sir? All right, and now I'm talking over my soft phone. I have a Polycom communicator connected to my uh, laptop. Because I'm the general manager and I didn't feel like having a desk phone, I like using my computer as a phone. And I can take this anywhere, and whether it's my office, my home, while I'm traveling, and I can have a soft phone connected to this USB speaker phone. Uh, by the way, would you like one of those? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, well, I'll give one with every system. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so now you're all checked in. We've got you in there. What else can we do? Well, we wanted to talk about room status for a minute. So one of the things that happens in hotels, the maid goes into the room and she wants to see if it's, uh, we want to know if it's dirty, occupied, whatever the case may be. So we can go ahead and check that right here with the room status. So right now it says that it's clean and vacant. Do me a favor, just go ahead and hit the speaker key on that and press star one star. And now you can just hit the speaker key and hang up. So it says that it's been recorded, the room status. And so what we've just done here is that we're going to uh, update it here in one second. A little delay on my laptop today. I think I need an upgrade. <laughs> nice thing. So now it says dirty vacant. Right. So let's go ahead and do, let's say that you might have had a problem in your room. Let's hit star seven star. So it's speaker, star seven star. And then just go ahead and hang up. So if I hit refresh again. Now it says maintenance and vacant. Shower's broken. Sorry, I can't reserve that room. Right. Okay, so now you're vacant there. So different things that we can do with room status. Let's go ahead and pick up again and do star two star. And as soon as you do that and I hit it, it says dirty and occupied. You can hang up. It's instant. Right. So I can see all the room status. So you know when you check into the hotel, people always wonder, how do you know what the status of that room is? Right. How do you know the maid's up there? I didn't see her talk to her or anything like that. We do it with the phone. The man has a little card, and we can actually make it that when they dial in the code, we can actually tell them the status right. that they've just dialed in. So, dirty occupied confirmed. Right. You know, case you dirty vacant in case you made a mistake in the code. So, we can do that. So, pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. So, we have the room status. Now, we could also bar the phone from long distance calls. You had a guest that checked in, and they didn't pay you with a credit card, they paid cash. Now what happens when we check a guest in, I'll go ahead and do this one for you. If I just want to dial a phone number, and I just dial an 800 number, it's going to say no circuits available, I don't have a phone line connected here. So I'll make a phone call. But what happens if I bar the phone, and then right up here it says phone is barred for calls to the outside now. And I hit OK. So if I come over here and I go hands free, and I just try and do a redial, Can't dial that number. Now, I can still dial internally. Right? And, and we actually set up a profile for you. So when you bar the phone, you can allow them to dial 800 numbers if you'd like. That's up to you. They can still dial 911, dial internal calls, and toll-free calls. But they can't make any toll calls. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and unbar the phone, I can click on unbar. Now it says phone is free for calls to the outside. Great. So now let's do that number again to dial an 800 number. Excuse me. And so now obviously it's going to look for a phone line, but at least it's not giving you the fast visit. You know that you can make a phone call. Yeah. Also, do not disturb. Now, you may not use this a lot in your property, but sometimes you might have a guest. You have a conference room here, I believe. Right. So in the conference room, maybe they don't want to be bothered with incoming phone calls. Yeah. So if I was to call room 301 right now, Okay. So I can go ahead and call your room. But if I want to turn Do Not Disturb, now it's on, and I go ahead and dial 301 again, room 301. The person at extension 301 is on the phone. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. 
Hello, Mr. Plagman. I know you're in a meeting right now. Uh, I have someone in the lobby. Uh, it looks like a package for you. I'm going to go ahead and sign it in. I'll bring it down to the conference room. This is built at the front desk. Thank you. And I hang up. So we left that message. Now, what's happening on your phone? Got the message. Right. right. So now the message waiting light is blinking. One of the things that's important here is that with our solution, we are an IP PBX. We support analog phones and we support the message waiting lamp on your existing analog phones. There are many systems that are IP, IP PBXs today that do that and they don't support that feature. So you might have a little card in here that'll say voicemail and it'll just be a pre-programmed code to call in and get your voicemail message. By default, the password is going to be your room number. And you can press and play the message. And now the message waiting lamp automatically turns off. Right. So we handle the message waiting lamps with all the existing telephones. We do the uh, the voicemail message waiting. I can also turn do not disturb off. And now it's off. And now I dial 3001, and your phone is going to ring once again. Right. So we can turn that off. We also have a neat way of setting up your wake up call. So right here. Uh, there are two ways of doing it. The guest can do it. Uh, go ahead and press speaker key and press the button that says wake up. Hello. Well, let's say 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so 0800. Pretty, pretty nifty, right? right? That's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Okay. But well, let's do this now. Let's go ahead and you say, you know what? Eight o'clock is a little bit too late. I need to change it for seven. Right. Let's call the wake up call one more time. So let's go ahead and cancel it. And you just canceled it. So now you can cancel it and set another wake up call for yourself. Now you can set a wake up call for 7 a.m., 7.05 a.m., 7 a.m. <laughs> now keep in mind that when you set that wake up call, the system will call you. If you don't pick up, five minutes later we call you again. If you don't pick up, we're going to call you again. We do three times. If you don't pick up your wake-up call, then there's an email that is sent to the front desk immediately. And so when they pick up that, we also do a voicemail as well. So it's two items. So this way we know that a room has not answered their wake-up call. This is really important. Let's knock on the door, check, make sure everything is okay. Right. Right? Also, wake-up calls are very important for business travelers. So sometimes a business traveler may sleep through a wake-up call. Right. I've been known to do that a couple of times. So at least I know that there was confirmation the wake-up call did occur. There's an email that's generated stating the wake-up call occurred and you never answered. Right. And we also get a voicemail message at the front desk letting them know that the room did not answer the wake-up call. Let's go check on that room. Okay. okay. So a little bit of a safety measure for us, right? Right. Okay. So we also can set the wake-up call right here from this... Uh, graphical user interface. Now we can also customize this by the way. This can say your hotel name and uh, it doesn't have to say Zorcom Complete PBX at all. So it's totally customizable. I can set a wake-up call for 301. It confirms that there's a wake-up call set. I set it immediately. If you would hit the speaker key for me. <coughs> Hello, this is your wake-up call. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> now, that is also customizable. We can brand that, give me an MP3 file or a WAV file, and we can brand that with your hotel name. You know, thank you very much for staying at the Stony Brook Inn. Uh, pleasure to take care of you. This is your wake-up call. So this way it's branded with your hotel. It's right. just a WAV file that plays. Okay. Okay. So and we can also cancel wake-up calls as well here. All right. So now the other thing that's built in, you see the dollar signs here. We do have a call accounting module that's built into the software. Now this is really important because a lot of hotels today, they don't have a, um, 
a call accounting system that's compatible with IP PBXs. Their call accounting software is very old. A lot of people don't even use, especially in the States, uh, a lot of call accounting software just isn't used anymore. They give flat rate, and if you want a long distance call, you buy a calling card. Uh, or use your cell phone. Yeah. Uh, but they might have flat rate for local calls. A lot of hotels in the United States are doing that. But internationally, though, you know, properties that are in the Caribbean, as an example, I mean, there is still long distance charges. So you have an old phone system, and you remove the old phone system, but your calling counting software is just as old as the phone system. Right. So now when you invest in our solution, you'll actually have rate tables, uh, you're going to have company name, you can actually um, customize the bill that will be generated for the uh, occupant when they check out. You might have a folio from your property management system, all right, or if you have one, but if you don't, we can take care of this billing for you. So again, let me focus on where this is really meant. This standalone product for complete concierge is really focused on the smaller hotels that don't have a property management system. At least this way we can use it. Now, we also use it in larger properties while, they were, while we're doing the integration for their property management system. At least they have an interface to handle the billing and all the hotel features that they need. Made in room status, barring the phone, setting the wake up call, all that's very important. And you can generate a bill right from here. This is where you, where you actually customize it uh, for, the, um, for the room and for the hotel. So as you can see, you can put your, your name in here for your property, your address, everything can be in here. The screen's gonna change in a second, and we'll go ahead and, and have all of that for you. Again, I apologize for my computer just running a little bit slow here. You can see you can have all your rooms, calculation of prices, uh, the PBX settings, company details. Pretty simple? Yep. Okay. So once you have your bill, we can see all your phone calls would be down here. Is where all your phone calls would be. You can see all the call detail. And once you want to check out, we can say, okay, well, let's check out Mr. Plasma. Are you sure you want to check out the client? Yes. So again, we check you in. We apply the guest name to the phone for your entire stay. All right? Um, also, when we check you out, if you have any voicemail messages, we clean those out of your mailbox as well. Now, before I check you out and I confirm that, let me just go back one second to this panel. And what I'd like to do is leave a quick message for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the wrong number. So I'm going to dial your room. I should have probably put it on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> This is Bill at the front desk. I need to speak with you before you check out. Thank you very much. Let me hang up. So now what happens? You come downstairs to check out, and I have the, the system up here to check you out. I'm ready to print the bill, but I said, well, one second, one, one second, Mr. Plagin. I see that you have a message in your room. Would you like to pick up that message? Right, I would, yes. Okay, so right from here, I can go ahead I can put in the room number. So now I can go ahead and pick up those messages and have that for you. So now we picked up that message, and as you can see on the screen, the envelope goes away immediately. So now we've just picked the messages from your room. I can go ahead now and say, okay, Mr. Plasman, let me go ahead out and, and print your bill. And now we're going to get the, the print bill, and this will be customized for you. So we can go ahead and check you out, give you your bill for the phone system. If you have a bill for the hotel, maybe it's already prepaid, whatever the case may be. 
and we will take care of you. Fair enough? Yep. All right. Well, listen, I appreciate your time. Again, I'm sorry that my computer's hanging up here a little bit. It, it's much faster than this. I'll, I'll, I'll grant you. There's your bill. So now we can go ahead and again. This would be customized to your hotel name and everything. So this is something that we can go ahead and uh, put together for you. Would you like me to put a proposal for you? Absolutely. Okay. Martin, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Take care now. Bye-bye.